Hey there folks, today I'm going to show you a really neat Jerry Reed lick. It's a lick that he used at the start of a tune called Stump Water on one of the albums he did with Chet Atkins. One was called Me and Chet, the other one was called Me and Jerry. I think it's the one called Me and Chet. Anyway, it's a tune called Stump Water. It's in the key of E major and he starts it by going up the E scale on the bottom strings, E major. down from the top, both at the same time. Really cool lick. I'm going to change the camera angle, show you how to do it. It ain't that hard. Stay tuned. Alright, here we go folks. What happens here, uh, I'm bringing the thumb up to the 6th string on the 2nd fret. I'm covering that and I've got my index or my middle finger on the 1st string on the 3rd fret and that's how they start. And I'm picking them both together. It's just a thumb and one finger lick. So, I'm picking them both together like that. That's the start. Now we're going to go up the scale, like I said earlier, on the bottom strings and down the scale on the top strings. So, thumb on the 6th string 2nd fret, middle finger on the 1st string 3rd fret. Take them together. Next, I'm bringing my ring finger down to the 6th string on the 4th fret, my index finger 1st string on the 2nd fret them together. Here's an easy one. Open first and open fifth. Doesn't get much easier than that. Next one, I got my baby finger on the second string, third fret. I bring my thumb up to play the fifth string on the first fret. If that's a bit too much of a reach for you, you can certainly bring your index finger down to cover that fifth string, first fret, and pick those two together. Next one's an easy one. It's just two B notes. Your bass string on the fifth string, second fret, and an open second. Both B notes. Then it gets easier from here even. We've got an open fourth string, third string, third fret. Pick them both together. 3rd string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 1st fret. Pick them together. I finish with a, just a, a straight E major chord form, but all we're really picking is 4th string again, 2nd uh, fret, and I'm hammering on the 3rd string on the 1st fret to make an E major. Just like that, picking them together. String on to the first fret, open to hammer on first fret, and then I finish sixth string, first string. One more time, real slow. kept the finger style stuff going and went to an A7 back to an E like this. There you have it. Not difficult at all, but one of the most cool licks. You can take that lick as an intro to something you're going to do in E or as an ending for something you're going to do in E major and it's pretty neat. I'm going to have a lot of uh, Jerry Reed licks, cool little licks, endings and intros and stuff like that coming uh, in the future. 
So be sure to, uh, to stay tuned to those. I'm going to adjust the camera angle back. See you in a sec. Bingo! One second later. Really neat lick. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment below. If you have any questions at all, anything else you'd like to see me uh, do a video on, uh, be sure to make that suggestion. That would be great. Check my workout, jwcollinsauthor.com. I am a traditionally published author. I'm going to have another book coming out probably in about six months. Uh, so please check out my work. Buy my books would be good. Leave a review. that would be fantastic. Uh, check me out on Twitter and Facebook and all that cool social media stuff. So until next time, have the best day you can. See you then. Thank you.